Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Rodolis. We are in Ganawaki today outside Montreal to learn how a really cool Canadian luxury fashion brand is made by people who've passed down a trade from generation to generation. Let's go meet the people who make Manitoba mucklucks. We're here today visiting our brand ambassador, Wani Cornmiller, and this is her hometown. She's an advocate for the Aboriginal community and she's an Olympic athlete and she's a really proud Mohawk woman who has really awesome fashion sense and we were, we're just lucky to have her. I want everyone to know what celebs have been wearing these because it's not just me that's been really digging these mucklucks yeah. lately. Yeah, we're lucky enough to be have been seen on Megan Fox, Kate Moss, Jessica Biel. We've even sent a pair to Justin Timberlake who's going to be kind of sporting the man style. I've been sort of partnering with Manitoba Mucklucks for just about a year now and um, I was very um, impressed and uh, passionate about their being an Aboriginal owned company and not only being popular in the native world but being popular worldwide. They're becoming a worldwide phenomenon and taking a traditional art form of muckluck making and you know contemporizing it, putting a vibrant soul and then you know selling it and it's it's just great to see a, a success story. So we're yeah. going to meet a few people yeah. today. Uh, an expert who's going to teach me. And then with the other people we're going to meet are some young girls from the community. Mm -hmm. uh, nieces of yours and some friends? Some nieces, friends. Some have already made mocks and some are just learning just like us today. Okay. Um, and, you know, they're very passionate about this. They want to learn how to bead, which is awesome. We didn't realize the risk of uh, losing the expertise if young people like this don't decide to continue doing it. Um, is that a, a concern for you? You're always in competition with the, with the attraction of mainstream culture. Teaching a kid to sit down and, and, and make a pair of earrings, make a pair of moccasins, it's like we don't live in a culture where it's like, okay, you're going you're gonna to get something in a week. Even the best bead workers like Suzanne, she says it's 24 hours. But that's not 24 hours or you have it tomorrow. It's 24 hours of work. Yeah. Right? So selling that to the young generation that are being inundated with a cult, with, with mainstream culture, which is get it now, get it fast, get it cheap, it's, it, you're in constantly trying to work against that. It's important to show Canadians that this is who we are, not just the, the horror stories or the bad stories you see on the news every night, which is, is a part of our reality as well, but there's this incredible culture and wealth, and it may not be the same monetary style in which we tend to value things, but it's a different value. It's, it's like, it's the, con you know, the context and the texture of who we are, and we're part of that larger Canadian population. And we have a lot to contribute, and I want to celebrate that. 